Radical Russ here at the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup 2012 in Los Angeles, California. All sorts of great people dropping by the booth saying hi, and uh, we are right in the middle of discussions and hanging out, ready to recreate 420 with our good friend Melissa Ballin and also Debbie Goldsberry joining us. Debbie's got the pirate thing going on. Is that a pirate thing? The year. This is the Freedom oh, Fighter of the Year hat from the High Times Cannabis Cup in Amsterdam. That what got raided oh, for the first God. time in 24 years, right? Tell, you were there at well, the raid. Yes, that is what happened. Oh, tell us about that, Debbie. You, you, were, you were there. Oh, there's some headphones for you there. Oh, oh yeah. you want to put headphones? Uh, yeah, there's another set right there. So why don't you grab that far set, and then we can all. All right, we're plugging in, yeah, you and we're recreating 420 because oh, yeah, it's 420 better. somewhere, and it was 420 here a few minutes ago. Right. Well, we've been doing the It's 420 Somewhere raffle, where we do a, a raffle every 20 after. So we did a 420 Eastern, 420 Central, 420 Mountain, 420 Pacific. Coming up late is the 420 uh, Alaska, and then 420 Hawaii. So we're going to cover all the And this is give thanks to the green lady, long live Jack Herrer, and free Eddie Lepp. We're, uh, it looks like we're just having fun and games, but we're doing this hard puffing and toughing to free Eddie Lepp. This right is on. a protest. This is a protest. <laughs> <laughs> go. Trying to get all the headphones on. Uh, there we go. There we go. I'm in. Recreating 420. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lighterless, unfortunately. Oh, uh, here we go. And at the high times, if you're having a high time, it's hard not to find somebody with a lighter, right? <laughs> That's much better. Now this, Debbie, tell us ready, about ready. Amsterdam yes, while we're recreating some. 420 and this amazing hat that looks like a pirate hat, but it's a freedom fighter hat. It's a tricorner hat. It's from the Revolutionary War. Revolution. That's right. It's the hemp revolution. Steve Hager invented Sorry? the High Times Freedom Fighters yeah. to fight for the freedom to use hemp for medical, you know, Jack Herrera. Hemp can save the planet. Food, fuel, fiber. What's next? Medicine, medicine spiritual, and you know. phytoremediation of the damage from Fukushima, yeah. which Glad may be phytoremediation. Phytoremediation. <laughs> hey, folks out there, if you don't know what the hell that we're talking about, the $12 word, phytoremediation, right? When Chernobyl happened and they got all this nuclear radiation that leaches into the soil, you got to have something that's going to pull that out of the soil. And what does that? Oh, help. And they planted a ton of hemp out there, literal tons of hemp out there, to help uh, rem oh, it's fine. To help remediate it. Wait, they did talking. in Japan? <laughs> in, uh, in Chernobyl. In, uh, in Chernobyl. Russia. Yeah, and they, for and they 20 used years. Yeah, Russian hemp. And it's successfully, that place around Chernobyl now, it's, it's not a, it's no national park picnic kind of thing, right? Does it get you stoned if you smoke it? No, no. But uh, uh, the, this is a major thing. And, and when we have these nuclear disasters like what we had here with uh, that, uh, like I said, Fukushima in uh, Japan, then one of the ways that we can help to uh, take care of the damage is through planting of hemp. That's right, and cannabis itself as a medicine is cancer preventative, so we should make sure that people in those areas have access to cannabis. There you, know? you go. We've got a lot of concerns about future generations, and we can remediate that problem as well. Yeah, yes, high yeah. five, yeah. high five at high times, and let me tell you something. We are the only industrialized nation that does not legalize industrial hemp. So we're, we're, oh, we need a lighter again. <laughs> green lady, green lady, we need a lighter. Um, we're the only nation that doesn't allow industrialized hemp, so we're importing from Russia, from China, and we are the biggest importer of hemp in the U.S. But yesterday, Russ said to me, we didn't even talk about the revolution, what happened to you at Occupy, and yesterday, Debbie, who I so look up to, said to me, you're so brave. And, and a lot of people said to me, oh, finally I'm an activist now because I got arrested because I'd never been arrested before. But um, you can read more about my experiences at the Occupy in Mike the Jeff. Weed Boy magazine. They gave me a megaphone because Jeffrey Peterson, the editor of Weed Boy magazine, said, we don't want you to get arrested for holding a megaphone anymore. That's, so That's in Weed Boy? Or yeah. That's the program. It. Yeah, it's in Weed Boy, and so they said, here's a megaphone, write an article, tell us each month about, you know, the mic check, which is how you get the message to the people, because the medium is the message, and this is a safer way where uh, hopefully you, you can't get arrested for writing articles yet. 
<laughs> well, people out there probably know that the U.S. Department of Justice, that they did threaten the magazines. That's one of the early things they yeah. did out the gate in their arsenal. Well, that was that one, uh, you know, they had the four U.S. attorneys out here and then the one that went above and beyond and said, oh, yeah, if you advertise, we're That's coming right. after you. And they held up the magazines from our friends. So yeah. this really is it. You know, I was at an uh, event recently in Pebbles Trippett, one of the authors of right. the Repeal Cannabis Prohibition Act, was speaking. And she was speaking about the marijuana wars, and we don't hear that enough. And we're going to look back in history, you know, if we do our job right, people are going to remember the shameful hundred years that we have fought a marijuana war in the United States, a war against our own people. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm happy to be wearing the tri-cornered hat, you know? Revolu this is revolutionary stuff. We have That's to right. free the weed. We have to free the people. Our friends are going to jail. Yeah, and our country was founded by, in a, in a revolutionary sense, on an economy that was based on hemp in, in large part. And, uh, you know, it's our heritage, really. I, I look at it a lot, a lot of times. I see it as, you know, how did this country, for 400 years, you know, has had hemp since 1611. How did we end up where we ended up? You know, emperor wears no clothes. You're absolutely right, man. It's just, uh, it's 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 a it's a crime against nature, is what it is. It's just a shame. You know, beyond what we do to the people involved, but just what we do to the planet by not using hemp. And if you take somebody more than three feet, it's kidnapping. But I'm kidnapping radical Russ Belleville <laughs> and freedom fighter Debbie Goldsberry. I'm taking them way more than three yards uh -oh. on the prohibition tour. And well, inspired right. by the tour that Debbie and Jack Herer took around um, the country that John Pilka has told me about. The hemp tour, the old hemp tour. We're bringing it back. We're, we're turning it into the Prohibition back tour. The hemp tour. Because the Prohibition road. is over. We just have to tweet a friend and let them know we need 34 states. We already have how many medical states? 16. 16. We need 34 to change, amend the Constitution. Not to mention, it's our natural right to self-medicate. So we're going to let people know Dennis Perone is on the Prohibition Tour. Debbie Goldsbury is on the Prohibition Tour. Wacky Richard Eastman's on the Prohibition <laughs> Tour. The we're spirit tour. of Jack Herer is definitely, definitely on the tour. Bruce Margolin's on the Prohibition the Tour. And we're going to bring yeah. the live standee cutout of Eddie Lepp. And everybody's going to sign it. And we're going to let people know the human solution is on the Prohibition Tour. We're bringing court support and jury nullification and initiatives to you and the Jack Herer Initiative yeah. all around yeah. the world. We have to end the 100-year marijuana wars. It's way beyond time. Yeah. You know, let's be honest. The, the feds right now, they, they'd crush us out if they had a chance. And they're trying everything in their arsenal. and. You know, if we're not careful, well, they're never going to succeed. It's a plant. It's a, you know, weed. It grows out of the earth. You know, but the fact earth. is, they're trying to harm our people, and we got to be, we got to be tight. We got to make a strategy. We got to push back the marijuana wars. It's got to end. You mentioned having 16 uh, medical states, but I, I like to look at it this way: we got 16 medical states. We've also got uh, 14 decriminalized states, and there's eight of those states that aren't medical. So if you think of how many states there are that are either medical or decrim, it's like 22. Yeah, let's I move mean. on to just legalizing cannabis or descheduling cannabis. That's how me and Melissa met is over the idea of, can we just deschedule cannabis yeah, get and get schedule. rid of this whole thing? Yeah, it makes no Aspirin's sense. Aspirin's not on the schedule. Because it's less dangerous than rhubarb. Yeah. yeah so no, this is loops. ridiculous. Fruit Loops are more dangerous than I, cannabis. I was I was thinking the other day we ought to put together a calendar. You know those 365 day, you know, word a day calendars or whatever. We ought to have a thing less dangerous than or more dangerous than cannabis a day calendar. <laughs> Just every day Everything something that's water, more dangerous. Water you can overdose on water, <laughs> and then but explain not on it, right? cannabis. Exactly, and then explain it on the calendar why it would be less dangerous than cannabis. You know. Oh well. So we want you to add us on Facebook. Deschedule yeah. cannabis today. Hemp can save the planet. Yeah, I was Jack Harris, Emperor wears no clothes. We are like high social times trends medical media marijuana media. magazine. That's I'm a columnist at High Times Medical Marijuana yeah. Magazine. Come see us there too. We're on Facebook and you can go to hightimes.com. Right on. Melissa Ballin and Debbie Goldsberry, the Freedom Fighter of the Year. And uh, thank and you guys. And my mentor, because the last cup in San Francisco. She was a celebrity judge, and Debbie had me over Indica. to the judging part parties for Indica, and I really learned a lot <laughs> about when judging. When you judge the High Times Cannabis Cup, it's best to have a team. Teamwork. Right? Yeah, teamwork helps. Indica, you got to hold hands when you exit the door of your house. And I try not to be judgmental, but the cup is one time where it's uh, you're totally allowed to be judgmental. 
and you're judging for the best and everybody wins don't you think we're yes, winning we are winning thank you ladies so much for we're joining us winners. here on the show live coverage of high times medical stay Canada. radical Come. russ stay I will radical stay radical and you guys keep fighting the good fight thank you so much Ooh. <laughs> thanks for reenacting 420 with us oh very nice all right, we will be back with more coverage here at High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. Stay tuned.